Hi, I'm Clinton. I'm Claude. And we're the Lamest Defenders. And on this special episode of We've Got Issues, Claude and I review and discuss probably the most consequential X-Men comic in years. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Um, so, Claude and I are going to do something kind of a little different for this episode. We're going to talk uh, spoiler-free as much as possible for this issue, and then we're going to get into some heavy spoilers because, yeah, this is a pretty epic, yeah. epic issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, let's just jump right in. Um, it takes place immediately after the events of the last issue, of issue three. Uh, some of these have jumped around years and time, but this one is almost immediately after... Um, and they're getting sent to, uh, so it's a team of X-Men, pretty much the best X-Men are going, and they yeah. get this uh, mission from Xavier and Magneto basically to destroy um, basically a factory that is creating like the most advanced Sentinel or AI yeah. ever. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not quite finished yet, but the X-Men are going there to stop it because it basically means the uh, extinction, yeah. extinction yeah. of the mutant race if yeah. this thing comes online. Uh, and they, they, they only know about this because of the first issue, Sabretooth and Mystique uh, stole the information. Mm-hmm. So they've kind of had this for a while, but now everything's kind of come together. So, right. like, okay, we know what to do. Let's do it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's it's orbiting the sun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's a pretty different place that it yeah, can yeah, be. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, all right, whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a very secure location. It's, it's uh, orchestrated by... Orcus, mm-hmm. and it's basically Orcus is an organization made up of Hydra, Shield, AIM. It's basically ex operatives. Ex operatives, yeah. It's basically uh, it's basically to preserve humanity and essentially wipe out mutants. Mm-hmm. Like there is, they're not taking any chances. You have these uh, really historic members on the strike force going there to shut this off, and. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just seeing them interact and like the emotional impact on everything and their choices and the fight scenes are brutal. The yeah. art is amazing. Yeah, uh, Pepe Larraz, uh, L A R R A Z. So apologies if I'm mispronouncing that, but his art is is incredible. I, I it's on Claude. I don't really care about comic book art. Like if it, it, it doesn't it, really it, stick with you. Yeah, it could most be, of the time for comics. It's funny you say stick. Like it could be stick figures talking, and if the writing's good enough, I'll be captivated. Right, but. This guy is just so good. It's mm-hmm. it's awesome. I want to take pieces of this and like and frame them. It looks so nice. Well, for Cyclops, some of it is like he just portrays the optic blast that he yeah. does so well. If you look at the cover yeah. of it, you just see this yeah. like sweeping arcing motion. It just it's just so cool. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's so I guess almost worth it just for that. Really. Right. Like it's and the story is just a bonus. <laughs> but yeah, it's so it's overall. Um, after you read it, what what are your thoughts? Should people pick this up? Oh, yeah. Pick up issue three and this one. Mm-hmm. If you pick up this one, you're going to be a little lost. But mm-hmm. if you find issue three, you can get it online if you can't find it anywhere. Uh, but, yeah, just, just read these. These are really good. Mm-hmm. It's really good. So what <laughs> we have a lot of things to say about this yeah. comic, so we wanted to rush to that part yeah. and focus on the ramifications of the spoilers and what actually happens during the comic. So if you haven't read it and you intend on reading it, Definitely uh, go yeah. to a different Lamest Defenders yeah, we, video. We love you guys, but you don't <laughs> want to watch this right now. So yeah, it's, it's going to get pretty intense really yeah. quickly. So, so. starting now, uh, it's spoiler time. You guys are still here. Welcome back, and uh, let's just dive into spoiler talk here. So yeah, uh, wow. Uh, so the team is basically getting picked off one by one mm-hmm. uh, in their quest to... Uh, stop Mother Mold. Yeah, because there's four different yeah. like hooks that hook this. It's a huge head. It's a giant sentinel yeah. head, <laughs> which is pretty great. So the strike team, you know, uh, that consists of Nightcrawler, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Mystique, Mystique, Archangel, Archangel, um, or Angel. I think he's, I think he's just Angel yeah. at this point. Uh, Husk. Wolverine, Husk. Yeah, and then there was another one. I forget. Yeah, I'm totally forgetting. I think that he, but Arch Archangel or Angel and is it not Husk? Yeah, Angel. Who is I? Don't forget who the other person is, but uh, Angel and uh, dies 
Yeah, it was like Haas first, that died. Uh, Angel yeah. Haas. Yeah, they died within the first two or three pages. Because mm-hmm. what, what happens in the end of the third issue was an explosion happens. Mm-hmm. They're, they're about to board this mother mold station. And one of the guards, the captain of the security team, sacrifices himself. He blows himself up. With his gun, I don't understand. I'm like, man, these guns are yeah. super dank. He had C4. I don't know yeah. what whatever. So, but yeah, he blows himself up to make sure they can't get through. Mm-hmm. And it destroys the Blackbird. Uh, you see one page. Wolverine is like growing back his bone. And his Ligaments. Arm. It looks it's really just, brutal. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like Angel's dead. Husk is dead. Everybody's torn up. Whoa, Nightcrawler has a... Probably an internal injury. He's yeah, that's what they said. Soon, yeah. Be, yeah. Um, so yeah, and then they're like, okay, well, so then after that, after the the breach fails, Nightcrawler starts teleporting them in, basically. Like, mm-hmm. Just getting them in. To the four qu- quadrants, they're basically hooks that are hooked on in the mm-hmm. Sentinel. Yeah. And then if something goes wrong, that Sentinel can drop into the sun and yeah, be destroyed. Yeah, it'll just be absorbed in the, the sun's orbit, basically. Yeah, so, so that's what the X-Men are sent to do, is yeah. to unhook this big yeah. head. So... The strike team, so there's four mutants that are in good health, well, somewhat good health yeah. after the explosion, and they, uh, they're they getting sent to get rid of these, you know, the hooks on the Sentinel to drop them in the sun. So you have Cyclops in charge of one, uh, Mystique, there's Nightcrawler, and then also Wolverine. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and uh, they, they succeed, mm-hmm. but... Uh, well, actually, no, they don't. Mystique does not. Yeah. My- Mystique, okay, so... Uh, we're already in spoilers, so they all die. Mm-hmm. But Mystique has quite possibly the the dumbest death in this entire one. Like she's just kind of the easiest job. Yeah, she's walking around this this uh, hangar trying to just find the switch to pull down and unlock this this mother mold mm-hmm. head. And she's surrounded by jungle, and it looks like she's just on a bridge. Yeah, she's in a habitat. Yeah, and uh, transformed into a guard. Yeah, she could have she could have. A disguise as anything. Mm-hmm. Like she could have either been like, oh, okay, I'll be that guard. Yeah, fine. Just walked up, just done it. Nah, she's going but, full blue, baby. Yeah, she's blue. She's ah, I'm blue. blue. <laughs> she's waltzing she's around. Her, yeah, she's just walking around, and she's about to trip it, and then she finds she comes across um, the two the, the the designer of a mother mold, mm-hmm. and who's her, upset because her husband, yeah, her, her husband boyfriend, was captured. Captured. Yeah, yeah, it was her husband. Yeah, he the died one that blew up. The... Yeah, so she's not happy. Uh, she trips an airlock, and Mystique just gets sucked out into space. It's kind of like uh, the Super Mario Brothers, where you're trying to beat Bowser on the bridge. You just jump over him, oh, yeah. and then you just <laughs> it unlocks, and he's like, eh, yeah. just right out of there. Yeah, it was it was just like it was, it was weird. I don't yeah. know, like for some reason, everybody else had this epic death, and then Mystique just gets sucked out into space. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I like, I don't feel like she wanted to. Be, <laughs> she did not want to be there. She was sassy she, on it. Yeah, herself. she was. Was, I got it, Cyclops. Yeah, she didn't want to be there. It's like, well, I hear you. Well, I guess I, she, she should have paid attention in the briefing because she is honestly the one mutant who could live a normal life. Yeah, she can just go do whatever she wants. It doesn't matter to her. So yeah, like she, I, maybe she didn't want to be there. I oh. know your Magneto was like, uh, Mystique, why don't you go? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you do it for Raven, me? Raven, why don't you go uh, take yeah. care of this for us? All right, I guess. And then but, yeah, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Nightcrawler all uh, do it. Yeah. Um, but they have to pick up the pieces because Mystique... Yeah, Mystique was... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, now she's floating around, yeah. doing, you know, doing that thing. And because there's no vacuum in that airlock room anymore, there's... No it's breathable been, it's been, Yeah, it's been locked off. It's pretty much off limits to them now. So Nightcrawler and Wolverine are in the same hallway, and they're looking out, and they're seeing Mother Mold, and like, well... We know what we got to do, and that and at the same time, Xavier is talking to them telepathically yeah. mm-hmm. um, with the help of a few other mutants, I guess, yeah. to boost his range. The of, and yeah. the art's really cool with that. Yeah, how it's do amazing. It. Yeah, and uh, Cyclops is giving them, you know, real yeah. time yeah. Right. status and, updates. And on Gene, it. yeah, Gene's kind of boosting the signal in the in the Blackbird. So. Right. So it, Cyclops is saying, and Gene Gray, you know, are telling Xavier and the team like it's going. The crap. Yeah, like, um, we're all, we're so close. We're going to lose this though if we don't get this last. And one then done. Xavier is like, "Can it be done?" And then yeah. Cyclops is, "Yeah." And um, you just see like Cyclops knows that yeah. Nightcrawler and Wolverine have to go out there and teleport, and they're willing to do it. But that was my favorite panel. Yeah. The whole thing is how heartbroken Cyclops is because yeah. as a leader, he's in charge of everyone and trying to get them home. Yeah. It's kind of like a military like um, you know aspect of you know an officer you know, deploying with mm-hmm. his troops and he's in charge of them yeah. and you just see him on the glass pane yeah. 
And it's just like that is Cyclops. And you that can't you so don't even see his eyes. Like you don't you, no discernible expression on his face. I mean, he's just and he just says go. Yeah. And and Nightcrawler and Wolverine teleport onto this uh uh And they're more than willing to do it. They are they, they know what to do. Like it's they're they're actually really like well, probably one of the most touching scenes I've seen of Wolverine in so long. Like he and Nightcrawler they're having this discussion and before they go and Wolverine asks Nightcrawler, What do you think's on the other side? Mm-hmm. You know, he's Kurt Warner. Kurt Wagner is a, is a Catholic. Kurt Warner. <laughs> Kurt, <laughs> yeah. Kurt Wag, uh, Wagner is a you know Catholic. And yeah. He's very religious, and uh, it was just like, wow. He's just like, you just came back, Wolverine. You know what's on the other side. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So that kind of ties into uh, none of the X Men make it. No. From this, yeah. uh, Jean yeah. Grey tries to escape. Um, she's in a escape pod mm-hmm. and so I'm sorry before we do that uh, Nightcrawler was in Nightcrawler teleports Wolverine Wolverine uses claws and destroys everything Nightcrawler is immediately burnt up by the sun she's ripped cage you just see him just like yeah he's gone and poof then, yeah, and then not a good poof to teleport to safety <laughs> Wolverine's just just destroying this barrage and, and this, you and see him time, like yeah. melt it oh, it's so cool and the okay. whole time that he's doing this Mother Mold the mother mold's been activated. Mm-hmm. There's a, the doctor is like, all right, we're gonna activate her now to at least get hopefully one out. And uh, she's just talking and trash. They, and she's run for, and she's just giving off this almost like Shakespearean soliloquy, like the mm-hmm. whole time talking about how uh, humans created us and, and does that you, make them gods? Humans are our titans and all that. Yeah, and we're coming for you, Olympus. It's yeah. like, oh my god, like what is going on? Jeez. So yeah, so it was really cool. It was great. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, Cyclops after losing them. He's trying to run to Jean Grey. Because Jean Grey is so Cyclops is trying to get a hazmat suit or something yeah, so he can yeah. he can get her evacuation suit. He's trying to get to her pod so yeah. they can just float into space yeah. and hopefully somebody rescues him. Because he said he would use his blast to get get a push mm-hmm. and then hopefully they aimed it right for Earth. <laughs> hopefully, so hopefully he's best. like so he's talking to Jean Grey and he's, you know, just hold on, I'm coming and yeah. then all the while he gets stopped in the, the hallway yeah. and you see him just Blasted, you know, uh, from yeah. behind, and I guess they put like nanites or something yeah. where it, like not uh, enough blocks, to kill him, yeah, just enough to immobilize him, and it blocks yeah. his uh, mutant abilities. So he's, yeah. he's he's just there, and he's yeah. fully conscious, and then he sees the human strike team coming yeah. in, yeah. and uh, the main scientist uh, who lost her husband. Obviously, she's very cranky, yeah, she's and uh, yeah. she basically calls him a bastard and shoots yeah. him in the head. Yeah, and she, yeah, it's almost like a, a shotgun-looking thing. Like, yeah. It was, it was brutal. You the, next see, panel the next panel, panel you see, like, spiders just fall Shattered. off. It's like, oh. Yeah, and then Jean Grey knows. <laughs> Jean Grey just screaming no. It was, it was brutal. It was... And then shortly oh. after that happens, Jean Grey is, um, they, they have these big sentinels that are flying yeah. basically the across drums, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. the universe to try to help the mother mold, yeah. you know, uh, but they take forever, yeah. but they finally get there and Jean Grey's just, the, on yeah, escape pod. just rip it open yeah, and they don't like show. Yeah. Right they have to just smush yeah. her in there. Yeah. Yeah. It was. And then the last panel, one of the last panels, actually no, the last panel is Xavier, uh, with the tear cause they succeeded, but that all, all of them were wiped out. The best. And, X-Men yeah. Basically. And you just see Xavier with the tears and all it says is no more. Mm. And, it's like, are we about to see Xavier go full supervillain? I think so. I think yeah. we're about to. In the beginning of this a whole, I guess, event, it focuses on Mora mm-hmm. and her ability to resurrect herself. And then you see yeah. Xavier almost like God with Adam and Eve, and you yeah. see two pods of, yeah. you know, fresh human beings. So I think they're oh, going yeah, to be yeah, yeah, resurrected. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just like those good old Spider Man con- clones. We're getting clones, baby. Yeah. So no one ever dies in comics. So no, no one ever does, but it doesn't, it doesn't cheapen the effect. Right. Like this was still a very like this punch. This issue kind of punched me in the gut. Mm-hmm. I, I I'm a little embarrassed to say that. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it was like a comic book, but these are just huge like, characters. We've been with them for such yeah. a long time, and even though in the back of our heads we know they're coming back. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, Marvel doesn't want to lose them. No, of course not. It's so like, it's like when Captain America said, "Hail Hydra." Yeah. Oh, All right. years ago. You know, you know we'll he's, not, he's not really high yeah. yeah, but he's like, wow, that was really impactful. And I, it's, I, I, I love this event. Like, I am so happy with the way it's turning out. Like, even if it doesn't, sorry, even if it doesn't stick with this, this, like this lineup or whatever, it's just been so refreshing for the X-Men to be just viable again. Like, it's just nice. Yeah. 
Well, thanks, Disney, for buying Fox. Is the whole yeah. reason we, we finally got a real yeah, good turn this, story. Turn this into a movie. All right. <laughs> well, guys, I mean, if you can't tell, uh, and if you listen to uh, our spoilers here, we really like yeah, this comic. Glowing. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It Just, was, yeah, go ahead. I would say, like, it was probably, like, the most, it's, you know, it's the most human book mm-hmm. that I think Marvel's put out in a very long time. It's great. And Honestly. Even with these spoilers, I feel like you're doing yourself a disservice. Like, you yeah, have still to read it. it. Yeah, it's the still art is yeah. just, I don't want to show too much with no, the, yeah. the clips that we put on, but it is probably some of the best art you could find in a comic, let it's alone media yeah. nowadays. Yeah, for sure. No, it's, it's, it's their 18 across the board, mm-hmm. and it's showing. Definitely. I love this book so much. This is great. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate you guys sticking with us and enjoying yeah. the spoilers. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a different week, but it was just such a big comic. We had to make this yeah, up. Yeah, so. yeah. It had to be special. Yeah. A little bow on it. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys, and uh, stay tuned for our uh, comic book review. Yep. Thanks, guys. Stay lame.